The American Egyptian Women of Influence podcast aims to be the American Egyptian culture podcast of choice. We believe that our knowledge and our participants' stories will greatly enhance understanding of both cultures. I'm Karen Leggett Abouraya. Dina Daniel spent her first career serving as development director for Coptic Orphans, whose founder Nermeen Riyad was featured earlier in this podcast series. But then Dina caught the food truck craze in Washington, D.C., and now has an award-winning brick-and-mortar restaurant as well, Fava Pot in Falls Church, Virginia, which itself raises funds for Coptic orphans. Dina, what prompted you to swap a desk for a food truck? I felt that I don't want to get paid from uh, donor money. Like, I felt how much, because I seen firsthand how much Coptic orphans doing great things in Egypt. And I was always calculating my salary, how much this would be in Egyptian pound and how much families can get benefit of it. So I decided I don't want to get paid from the mission. I want to have my own business and in a way or another I can benefit them. Now, did you ever, had you ever been in the restaurant business or been cooking before? And that's a big change. Uh, it is a huge change, but I'm a foodie person. I travel the world. I I eat every single cuisine almost worldwide, even in Kenya, Australia, England, Germany, it. So, and all my travels, I find out that the Egyptian cuisine has something new, like unique. And what is special to you about Egyptian cuisine? It's a real food. It is really real food. Like it's, uh, let me say it in another word. It's a grandma food. Like it is, it is, it has history. It has culture. It has taste. It's different than any other food. It takes time to prepare. It has its own spices. Like you can feel the culture in our uh, kitchen. What are some of the comments you get from, from Americans who come to the restaurant who've tried something for the first time? I get the common uh, comment that I'm getting that we feel that you are eating at grandma house. And I'm telling them, yeah, I go to our website and check. This was my vision <laughs> to make guests feel that they are eating at grandma house. What are some of your favorite recipes to serve and to, and to cook and share? Um, our falafel, because I believe Americans has a different version of falafel in America. So the Egyptian falafel is unique and our molokhaya. And the is, is a very unusual taste for Americans. You cannot, uh, for, for, for the world, because even if Molokhaya, you find it in Lebanon and Syria, it's totally different than the Egyptian Molokhaya. So Molokhaya, the Egyptian Molokhaya is something unique in the whole world. Now, you still have the truck, but you also have the restaurant in Falls Church, and it has murals of famous Egyptians on the wall. What do you hear from patrons about, both, about the, the mural and the people on the wall, many of whom they may not have heard of. Yes, and uh, actually you'll be surprised that many of the Americans, they know some of them, like Omar Sharif, like uh, Boutros Ghali. Uh, so I'm very proud of our culture, and I think uh, Americans who walk in, they feel what I feel about the pride of the heritage, of the culture, of our people. And you keep adding new people. You just added the soccer player. Um, yeah, I just added Musala. <laughs> <laughs> He's another one who'll be well known around the world. Go ahead. I didn't add Musala only for that he is a good foot, uh, uh, football player or soccer player, but also his story is inspiring for whole generation, for all the youth. He never took no as an answer, and he was able to prove his talent and get successful. And what are you able to still do for Coptic orphans through the restaurant? We support them by raising awareness, um, sponsoring girls, like in any way. Like as an example, she just um, they are creating a banner where they will have, you can do this via text message, and this banner will be placed in all our locations here in Union Market, and it will open anything in the future. Excellent. Now, the photos of you always show you with a big smile. What makes you happy about what you're doing now? I'm the kind of person who doesn't know how to do anything without being passionate to it. So 
frankly speaking, if I'm not happy, if I don't have this joy from inside, I'm not able to work. So I cannot do anything that I'm not passionate with. So that's why I'm happy. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we're delighted to share your story and hope many more people get to the Fava Pot. Thank you very much, Dina Daniel.